they be yelling, that's all they be screaming Every time they see me, all you be hearing is Baby, yeah That's all they be yelling, that's all they be screaming Every time they see me, all you be hearing is Welcome to Limelight Conversations. I'm your host, Trey D. Williams, and we got a special, special guest in the studio with us today, in the actual studio today. Y'all may know him as Florida Boy Earn, AKA Quint, AKA Earn, AKA Mr. Viral. All right, just dropped a new mixtape. We're gonna be talking about that, but I'm gonna start this show off a little bit different. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it back a little bit with this to see who the real Quint fans are. Okay. Remember this one? It's football season. I'll be that receiver that don't go long. And if you hit me in the numbers, then you can't go wrong. I've yes, been in this sir. game for too damn long. I've been up and down, scored such downs, and brought my family home. Tell me what can be greater uh -huh. than that. I'm a rapper, man, and cash. Dog, I got plenty of that. When the summer come, I'm going to buy me a jack. I'm going to hit the block, drop the top to make the haters, man. Hey. Yes, hey, yeah. I'm going to stop it right now, man. I just had to bring it back. Yeah, big boy memories, man. <laughs> man, what's boy. good with you, Quint? Man, I'm cooler, man. What's good with yourself? Good to see you, man. Yeah, most definitely. Clockwise, you already know what time it is every time we meet. Absolutely, man. Two kids Great, from 941. Yeah. Great energy. Great Vibe energy. be on point every time. You inspire me, man. That's what's up. You know, hey, vice versa, man. You know, see you be doing your thing, and that's like growing up together, man. Saying how you been operating lately, man. Hey, man, that's big, man. You know, I appreciate hey, you, man. Grind on stop, man. Hey, man, you know, this show is all about inspiration, man. Yes, I'm sir. telling you, man. Yes, hey, one day, I'm just gonna tell you right now, one day, your story, man, it's gonna be a movie. Somebody gonna make a movie off of your story, man. Yeah, that's what's up, man. It may be me. I don't know. Hey, man. <laughs> hey I wouldn't have no, I wouldn't want it no other way, man. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Absolutely. Most definitely, man. So, yeah, man, you just dropped hot mixtape. I just want a bag. Yes, sir. On all streaming platforms now. Yes, sir. Man, tell us about that, man. Tell us about I just want a bag. Oh, man. Um, it's been a long time coming, man. I mean, um, I just want a bag is, is my first solo project, man, that um that I've done, man. And it, it, it meant a lot to me, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, for one, everybody been waiting on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about like everybody been waiting on me to do something solo, you know what I'm saying? Now that it's finally here, man, it, it's it's amazing, you know what I'm saying? And the feedback and stuff that I'm getting from it, man, it makes me want to just, you know, drop something else tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, man, um, it's out now. I just want to bag, man, um, 18 tracks, you know, on the mixtape, wow. man, you know, from one to 18, you know, from my opinion, you ain't gotta, you know, you ain't gotta fast forward nothing. Nah, not at all. You just let that thing play, man, you know, and um. If you ain't got it, man, I advise you to go out there and get it, man. Like you say, it's on all platforms, you know. And um, if you're in the city or I'm in your city, I can pull up on you. I keep the CDs with me or whatever the case may be, but I just want everybody to have it, man. So if you ain't got it, man, I advise you to go get it. Yeah, I had a couple, couple of those, man. The, 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 the mixtape is fire, man. I had to give it to you, man. Like, I, I your, your, your music has always been fire, you know what I'm saying, in my opinion. But... I, I I see the the elevation. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like way more life now behind it, man. Yes, like sir. them them lyrics they hit. You know what I'm saying? Now I know this whole thing was like pretty much produced by Moon P. Man, what was it like working with him? The guy's talented, man. On so many levels, man. It'll scare you, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, the energy, you know, is is beyond on point, man. It's like you know, kind of force you to be around the guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, it's been great, man, working with him, man, and um, I don't want to work with nobody else. At this point, like, he he's, he he knows a lot, you know. He's going to point you in the right direction, you know what I'm saying? If if, you, if you're slipping about anything and he know the answer, he's going to make sure you get it to you, man. I mean, this is the place to be, man. If you want to come recording, you in the city, or you might not even be in the city, but, you know, you might uh, want to take a trip to the city. And if you're looking for somewhere to record, man, he's most definitely the guy. And I see y'all putting in work, man, on Facebook man. and everything, man. And I appreciate y'all doing that because it gives us, like, a, an insight, you know, on yes, what it's sir. like behind the scenes, yes, man. Y'all boys be working, man. Yes, Y'all ain't just putting on for social media. Like, I see the work, and then you hear the quality in the music, man. So I think y'all got something special here, yeah, man. I appreciate that. It most definitely work, man. This is the workplace, you know what I'm saying? It's like when you hear it's work, no play, you know what I'm saying? We, we have fun with it, though, because, you know, the fun part of it all is is, is important. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You got to have fun with whatever you're doing. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, man, the work don't stop, man. The, the, it don't stop, man. You know, from the time we here until 3, 4, sometimes 6 in the morning, Dang. man. Then right back again. We don't, you know, 
we got some, we got somewhere we, we we headed. You know what I'm saying? We know where that we we gonna be at in the, in, in the next year or two. So that's what's man, up, man. Don't stop. Man. I love that sense of urgency, man. Oh yes, sir. People yes, be sir. people be playing with time, man. That's the one thing we can't get back, man. Yes, sir. And we realize that here. You know what I'm saying? That's what's time up. Time is everything. So. The time we have, we make it work. Man. That's what's up, man. And for the people tuning in, like, like, what's the difference between a mixtape and an album? See, me, a lot of people, I think everybody got their own, you know what I'm saying, definition. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't heard some mixtapes that could be albums. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So everybody got their own definitions. You know what I'm saying? With me, I think a mixtape is more of, um, like my mixtape. It could be a, it can be, it can go as, as, as for an album or something. You know what I'm saying? Because Everything original, you know what I'm saying. To me, I think a mixtape is when you remixing, you know what I'm saying, tracks of you know someone that's or using beats from someone that's already you know mm -hmm. in the industry and stuff like that. So a lot of people call those type of moves mixtapes. You know what I'm saying. Got gotcha. you. But if it's all original, you know what I'm saying. You can call it what you want to call it. You know. What I got what I'm you. So I got that's you. my take on that. Yeah. Okay. I guess how do you go about putting the order of the songs together? On, on like a mixtape or an album, how does that come about? It, it's funny, man. But uh, here we do it as a unit. You know what I'm saying? We'll listen to the tracks, and you know we all agree on okay, this track makes sense coming behind this track. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or this sound, and then when that's done, we'll 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 go through. You know what I'm saying? And probably do a last double take. Right. It's not easy as it sounds, though. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I can only imagine, man. Challenging. What y'all do is very hard, man. Not everybody can rap. See, everybody don't know that. A lot, a lot of, people of people think, think they can. Exactly. A lot of people <laughs> think they can just come in here and drop music and, and that's just it, man. There's work behind this stuff, man. You know, but we don't mind working here, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Going through the blood. It's in our DNA here, man. Now, what's your process for putting a song together? Like, I mean, do you write the song first? Do you, you hear the beat? first and then you come up with the lyrics like or is it different every time yeah, i ain't got i can't tell you actually how i just i'm all over the place you <laughs> feel me like i said i have fun with it you know what i'm saying i might write a verse before i do a chorus mm. you know what i'm saying and sometimes i might write a chorus before i do the verse it depends on how i'm feeling at that time like a beat i can hear a beat and it might take me somewhere else you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so accordingly to like what I the vibe or what I what I'm feeling at that time, that's how I write my music, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's the best way, you know what I'm saying, as an artist to write music to me. You know what I'm saying? You just write what you feel at that time. You know what I'm saying? You go about it that way. It's no it's no um original way to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you tell a person there's an original way, I think you're blocking I got their you. talent to how, you know what I'm saying, you come up with music. But I just have fun with it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's how it is happy, man. You just got to go in there and have fun. You know what I'm saying? When you try too hard, you're trying too hard. You feel me? Yeah. So I just go in there and let it do what it do, man. See, man, your mixtape, it starts off with just fire. Like, like I like the uh, the intro. Yes, sir. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? Whoever's singing that hook, I like it, man. Yeah, hey. shouts out to them boys, man. They're my <laughs> brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? They, Hey, man, they going to be there. It's vice versa. Yeah. I call them, they there. They call me, we there. You know what I'm saying? And you know they good at what they do. Everybody good at what they do, man. When they, you know what I'm saying. That's what make this circle so powerful, man. And believe me, I don't hear a lot of us, man. That's what's up, man. A lot, man. We hear onto my life. It's some gas coming. You hear me? It's so, coming. So since you brought that up, let's talk a little bit about four quarters of greatness. Oh man, this, it's it's. How was that group put together, and like who's all in that group? Oh man, that group was put together by God, of course. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. We all know each other, you know. From round, from round the way, you know, we all from here, and um, it's just like right before we all became what we is now. It's like we all bumped into each other at different times, you know, and um, it goes back to Moon P, man. You know, you know, this dude got he got he got this type of gift, the sense, talent, man. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't even got a he ain't even got to actually be around you every day. You can come in the studio and drop something and he hears something, you know what I'm saying? And it don't happen often, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So when you hear something like that, he, he take, you know, he'll call me. Like one dude, T-Red, is a part of the Four Quarters, man. This dude had a session here, man. We don't know him. He, he I think he got introduced here through somebody else. Make a long story short, though. He came in. You know, when people do sessions, I like to leave. A lot of them, you know what I'm saying, they ask me to stay, but I like to leave. That's their privacy, you mm -hmm. know, that's their time. So we left, 
we didn't leave. We were downstairs, and I was rapping with um another one of the uh, brothers out of the four quarters. And this dude T Red coming here, and he's he's singing. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't even long. So P heard him, and he was like, "I guess I can imagine how it happened." <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He, I can tell he stopped him. So he called me. He was like, "Hey man, you gotta hear this dude." Because a lot of people when they come here and sing, they rely on auto tune. Mm. Yeah. This dude came here without that, and he was like, "Man, you got it." I was downstairs. He thought we was. I was downstairs, and um, he played something. He was like, "Bro, this with without auto tune, bro." He was, he was excited. You know what I'm saying? So um, the next go around, you know, I'm here and I'm um, watching dude work, and man, the dude, he's 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 like the youngest. He's the youngest at the camp, but man, his his passion, his excitement for it, man, is. It, it matches everybody's here, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. And that's what makes it so easy to, you know what I'm saying, to bond with them, though. But, yeah, dude got a gift, man. His project's coming out right out the mind, so y'all get ready for that. It's February 12th. Okay. And, man, it's it's it's, it's more towards the ladies, man. And, oh, man. <laughs> Can't go wrong with oh, that. Man, they, they better be ready for it, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, um, he go by the name of T-Red. That's one of the members, and, um... We got BY, you know what I'm saying? I'm you from yeah. yeah. You know BY, you know, he's another cat from the city that um BY been doing this thing for a while too. And you know, every time I bump into him, we had these long conversations like, man, what's up with the music? You feel me? Like, I used to hear you from verse and not hearing you anymore. Like, what's going on? He'll give me a rundown, you know. You know how life you know how life is, like oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then um one day him and P I didn't know him and P, you know what I'm saying? Had something going on. See, it's crazy how everything just leading back to. Kind of came together. Yeah, and then um, same thing with Brand. Fat Boy Brand, go by the name of Fat Boy Brand. He called me one day to uh, get on the track, you know what I'm saying? And it was at P's house before we had, you know what I'm saying, the setup that we have now. He was working at his house, so I go there and drop a track with him, and the bond became instantly, you feel what I'm saying? And um, so yeah, it's um, oh, of course Moon P, you know, of course, of right. course, like you know, I went to drop, I had, I think it was this mixtape right here that we're doing right now, I sent it to, I sent it to Moon P to get mixed down, right? Listen, it's crazy, man, how we all kind of like, I took it to him to get mixed down. He mixing it down though, but once he got his hands on the project, man, the dude he called me, I'm like, bro. Man, this is fire, man. I'm talking about like every day. I guess every other track he mixed down or whatever the case may be, he calling me, man, and and he he he's telling me how fire it is. He I'm talking he running through every track word for word, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was excited about it, you know what I'm saying? But he used to always tell me, man, we need to we need to bond, we need to get together, we need to be partners in crime, and now we partners in crime, you feel me? So up. it's it's like all of us came together through the music. You no, know, Moon P was working with all of us, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But we used to bump into each other at different times, man. And it was just God, man, who brought us all together because everybody energy kind of matched each other, you know what I'm saying? And it was easier for us to get up get up under one roof, man, and work together, man. So we became, man, four quarters of greatness, man. That's you know deep, man. Cause yeah. see, that, so that, that tells me, man, like for people who listening in, man, like think everything is timing. Everything is timing, man. You know, and like it, it came together at time. I cut you off, too, but that's yeah. something I learned, you know what I'm saying? Timing and and you know, being humble, you know what I'm saying, versus the old me, man. And it's working in my favor, man. I should have been, been, you know what I'm saying. This, <laughs> I should have been on this level, but you know, like you say, timing is everything, man. This was up, man. You said about being humble, man. Like, like what is what is being humble? You know, I uh, taught you, and like, you know, like what are, what are the pros in that? Yeah, man, it is. It's, it's taught me a lot, man. It's it taught me how to stay out of the way. You feel me? Mm -hmm. it, it taught me how to how to move accordingly to when. When God got something for you, instead mm. of just moving off my own energy, mm. you know what I'm saying? It taught me, man. Um, everybody who say they your friend ain't your friend, you know. You know, um, every situation that's at hand that kind of forces your hand don't mean it need to be forced. It taught me so much, man, to where um, life became I can see now. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's big, man. A lot of people, a lot of a lot of people, man. They lost without that. They ain't found that part of life yet. You know what I'm saying? When you find humbleness in, in the patient part of life, you become a bad motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm at with it, though, man. It's everything now, you know, even when 
I kind of feel like it's pressure, mm -hmm. I fall back to that. You know what I'm saying? It just make it easy for me to be patient. You feel me? That's what's up, man. Now, I'm glad you brought that up, too, because like in, in quite a few of your tracks on the mixtape, um, you talk about God and, 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 you know what I'm saying, the Lord and everything. Man, man, talk about how that's like, I guess, you know, helped you, you know, uh, just coming up and, and overcoming so many things. Yes, sir. Like you said, you 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 basically was there. We was there for each other childhood. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you can see the difference in me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know you can, cause back then I was I was like a loose cannon, man. I was wild, man. You know, and the faith part, man. I feel like you can't do nothing, man. I feel okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start off saying it like this: If you don't have faith in the higher power, man. It's like you. It's gonna be bumpy for you, man. Every day you wake up, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how so, you can get by. I don't, I don't know how you can get by, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't been through situations where I know it wasn't nobody but him. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like Amen. for real, for real. There's Amen. no man or woman that could have done that. I got me out of the situations I was in. You know what I'm saying? And due to that, man, it's just like, man, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna move forward without faith. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at with that. Um, it's like it's it's in me you know what i'm saying like it ain't going nowhere you feel me so, it's beautiful now you're seeing everything come together man on god's time but it's the best why. time and i know why you know what i'm saying you're still I young used to, i used to try to do everything on my own but just let him do it i think you know? uh that's one of the things i struggle with too man just all that you have so much ambition it's like you know what i'm saying we try to do stuff on our time yes sir you yes, know sir. and um i just think uh that's that's why i see the maturity man like when things are on God's time, man, it just it just happens the right it way. Just happens the right like it's so it's so many more elements to it that just it just feels right. Yes, sir. It's a feeling. I can't yes, really sir. explain it. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? It make it all it. You when when something happens, like when you're in a situation and you come out of that situation, you win in a powerful way. Right. I don't care where you at. You feel me? You just tell them thank you. You feel me? Right. You right. don't care who around. You don't care. You know what I'm saying? It just, it, it makes you does that because you know where it's coming from. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm at, man. I, the belief is like, is at all time high with me. And and in here, dog, man, we talk about, it. man, me and P, like, we have our one-on-ones. You know what I'm saying? We we do it amongst everybody, but it's like we majority have our one-on-ones. And, man, the faith, man, you know, we, we could talk about it. He could talk about it. And it, it's just like, you know how to just have snap. He, the belief, you can tell the belief is real with us, you know what I'm saying? And it, it runs deep, you feel me? So, yeah, without faith, man, everything we're doing here, we do we do it through faith, man. That's what's up, man. That's, That's how we up. know what time it is. It's about that. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Most definitely. Yeah, man, so um, I guess take us back a little bit to the beginning. How did you get into rapping? Oh, man, it, it's kind of like a long story, but I'm going to kind of shorten it up a little. Just a little. But yeah, um, I always love music, man. You know what I'm saying? Like music always been something that I love. You know what I'm saying? But as far as doing it, man, we used to have little parties and stuff on the back road of Villa Park. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like every Friday, and all the little local celebrities. You know what I'm saying? Like one of them was my big cousin, all right, Peter R. D. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the goat. You feel me? Yeah, they, yeah. they keep it a hundred. But they used to have these little parties back there where they used to pass the mic. You know what I'm saying? All the little local celebrities, they jamming. You know what I'm saying? And I like I like the feedback they was getting from that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was kind of like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. But see, all my dogs they knew, they knew because we'll do the little freestyling and rapping amongst each other. So they used to always tell me, "Man, grab the mic." I never used to grab. It. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then one day, back there, um, I built up the confidence to grab the mic. You feel me? And everything was history from then. Like the feedback I got from it. You know what I'm saying? It's like. It ran deep, you know what I'm saying? Ever since then, it was like, man, that was something I wanted to do, so I started doing it. But Cuz took me to the yo, to the studio, you know what I'm saying? Showed me the little ins and outs, how to make music, how to create it, you know what I'm saying? First time taking me to the studio, record, you know what I'm saying? Come back, listening to myself and stuff like that. That blew my mind, you feel me? Just to leave the studio, you know, I'm insane. The first, the first studio he ever took me to, man, was in Atlanta. Worldly, in Atlanta? Worldly. Worldly, you know, Worldly was, he was recording all the big celebrities way mm -hmm. back then. Right, right. So, my first encounter with the studio, um, TLC was coming out while we was going in. 
You know what that did for me, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm, I'm like, man, from seeing these people on TV to seeing them. I was young. You know, I was I was a I was about to ask you. You was young. How I old was, were you? I was, I was a jit. Middle I was school? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, middle school, man. Most yeah. Bit. So I'm, I'm stuck. I'm like looking at these people like, this is them. You feel know I me? Mean? But cuz, like, he always... All work, no play. So he like, cool, yeah, that's them. They did they thing. Like, Let's go. You know what I mean? <laughs> he had to get me up out that what I was in. I was like, about the about the and that did something to me too. Knowing that I'm recording in the same studio that these people recording in. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of like made me feel like I was already somebody. You feel me? But yeah, man, that what that's why I got into the music though, man. I'm gonna say because was the foundation of that. You know what I'm saying? He had a lot of influence just on you. Man, it's, it's crazy, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Still to this day, you know what I'm saying? I just went and um, visited him the other day, man. And, you know, it was only right that I go out there and share a mixtape with him, man. And I did that. So I got a little project coming out, you know what I'm saying, that I did the other day to show my appreciation to Cubs, you know what I'm saying, for all, all that he has showed me, you know what I'm saying, and started me when it comes to the music. That's what's up, man. Yeah. I know on, um, I think it was a, what the last track on the mixtape, Real Spill. Yeah. And yeah. you say something about Robbie. Yes, were you sir. talking like more like in a dream? Yes, sir. Okay. Because okay. yes, I didn't yes, know sir. if you were just talking about like back when you first started yeah. rapping or if you were just taking it back recently, but just a dream where yes. he said, get in that studio. Yes, that's a dream, right? Yeah. Carl yeah. talk to me all the time. It's like right before, right before um, I went to prison, right? Me and Cole were doing a family album. It was called Bloodline, right? But um, it got, he renamed it after I went to prison. Barbara Jane's son, you know what I'm saying? We was like about seven, eight tracks in, you know what I'm saying? And um, man, he's all he used to tell me on the phone is, just come, when you come home, man, I, I'm gonna be, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> he's gonna be that guy. He's gonna be, he's gonna be blowed, he's gonna, and he was on his way, man. You know that track. Right, right before, fast, man. right before his, right before his incident happened. I, you know, it's, it's this newspaper article and stuff out that you know he had a deal on the table and stuff like that. So, but right before then, I kind of like shied away from the music. You feel me? And he used to always try to get me to, you know what I'm saying? Get back on track with the music, man. But it was like it wasn't fun for me because I was like more in the streets. You mm -hmm. feel me? I had the street vision. You know what I'm saying? And he used to always tell me, man, cause this is what you need to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always try to bring you back. You know what I'm saying? So, cause a big influence on me when it comes to this music. He always believed in me way more than I believed in myself. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I feel like, like, I know God don't make no mistakes. So right after he passed, it's kind of like I re rekindled the music thing again. You feel me? <clears throat> and it's what it is. He used to always push for me. It's basically him. Man, you need to do a solo track. Even when I was in groups, man, you need to do some solo music, man. They want to hear you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. being in the group, you not they not getting enough. You right. feel me? So it kind of pushed me, man, to get that done. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm on a roll. It's, it's music after music after this. And it's already done. You know what I'm saying? That's so, what's up, man. Yeah. So that work, so part of your work ethic that you have when you're in the studio that. That comes from that from Rob D. Yeah, most Just definitely. Man. Taught you to work at this. He's he's he he's I never seen no one as far as when it comes to making music, make it as easy and as fast as he do. You know what I'm saying? I was just talking to P about that. And P got the same type of experience with him. Cause he mm -hmm. used to come, you know what I'm saying, record at P's too. And I bring that up and P just like take over. He was like, Yeah, man, D coming there, you know he got his he got his this, he got his that, you know, I turn on the beat, you know. Before I done making the beat, the song done. Yeah. He just go right in there and drop. Man, that's, I know he's not lying because I done been around enough to where, man, you can be on your verse. By the time you write your verse, his, he got a whole song plus and you working on another song. You know it's what I'm work saying? right there, man. He, it was like night and day to him, man. You know what I'm saying? You put yeah. out a lot of classics, man. And it really was his passion, his dream, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's easy. <clears throat> it become easy for me now. Mm -hmm. So I kind of feel like he put that in me. You feel me? Like, and it come easy, man, you know. On my worst days, I, you know, it's just, it's easy now, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, he most definitely, you know what I'm saying, was that guy that put a lot of work ethic in me, man, to get this music stuff. That's what's up, man. Yeah. 
you know, it's crazy, man. I think back, man. Shoot, like you said, you were young, man, when you started rapping. But I remember seeing you yes, perform sir. at the Coliseum. Man, I done been a lot. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to perform. I remember on stage with Rob D. Because I knew y'all got the one. Y'all had the one song. What was it? That My four, cousin. One, two, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had a couple songs together. But I think that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Four, two, four song. That kind of the song that kind of put me in the spotlight. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Honest, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I dropped that, it's like, I became a whole different you know what I'm saying? Celebrity, the man. City, yeah. You're celebrity you know at that point. And the song just, it, it just popped. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Because that was like the first, that was the first song I ever got on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That 4124 song. First song I ever recorded. You know what I'm saying? So, everybody hearing me on the track, you know what I'm saying? With, with, the, with the legend, you know what I'm saying? So, that kind of like, taught my career off. Yeah. When it comes to the music, yes sir. And then performing it live, man, that was, that was epic, At man. a young age, man, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, man, I don't did shows with dinner, everybody in the game. I don't open up for dinner, everybody in the game right now. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say I, I, <clears throat> I got a lot of experience. I don't been through a lot to, to where I'm at now to know how to go. You know what I'm saying? How to move when it comes to the music. Right. You know, I don't been through all that where a lot of dudes trying to get at, you know what I'm saying? But got to be careful at the same time mm -hmm. because... The music game shy at the same time. You gotta be the business part gotta be everything gotta be on point. You know what I'm saying? I said I don't been around long enough to know that, you feel me? So how I move right now is it's totally different than how I used to move back then. It was basically for fun. You know right. what I'm saying? I was just enjoying the excitement and stuff that was coming from it. But now, you know what I'm saying, it's different. I'm trying to feed my family now. So it's it's a different approach, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You gotta like Back then, it was, we was just doing it. We wasn't serious, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But the impact we was getting from it, we could have, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that music right now, back then, today, can still, you know what I'm saying? Could, yeah. Yeah, it, it can bust through now. It's still, like, every time <clears throat> every time you hear it, it's like, damn. It's like, it's not, it don't get old, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, that's kind of, that's when you know music good, when you can hear it, like, all them years later. Yeah. And you still can ride around to it like it's the first time you hear it, yeah. Bro, I tell you, man, like, it's funny. Me and my homeboys in college, my roommates, man, like, like I had this uh, Chrysler Sebring, man, drop top, man. We used to ride down Alafaya Boulevard, which is where the university is at, yeah. bopping your tracks, man. Like, yeah. music loud, yeah, bro. They, what's up, and man. we were bopping it, dog. Like, they love you. Man. One of my favorite songs still to this day that you ever did was uh, All I Need. Oh, yeah, 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 yes, sir. That song was deep, man. See, that was off when I was, when I was with the group Show Off, man. Like, Show Off, we, man, we made a big impact on the music yeah. especially around here like we was like one of the last groups that actually became a group around here you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. you know had the 41 IBC Central Boys and stuff like that we was like the last group that got put together but we shot to man we shot to the top so fast yeah. like we was the guys to come see you know what I'm saying like we could do shows and the shows would be like like the line or be around the corner trying to get in you feel what I'm saying like yeah. We was we popped quick, man, with that, you know what I'm saying? And um yeah, that that, that show off what it was, man. That's what's up. I remember he had that one line, he was like, uh, we done blew up, we the rawest cats and Brady. Yes, sir. <laughs> Facts do. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That was what's happening, you know what I'm saying? And they can't they couldn't argue with that, you know what I'm saying? Cause that was that was facts, man. We blew up so quick, you know what I'm saying? By like like you say though, we it's this a lot of guys we looked up to. That group that I was in it was a couple of those guys that was in other groups, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But when we we um connected and became one, it's like, man, you know, that thing shot, man, that thing shot out so fast, man. Because we, I think, you know what I'm saying, we was like, we was like more of a marketing, you know what I'm saying, group instead of like, because we did a lot of other stuff outside of music that brought attention too. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It was like we were doing so much stuff to promote the music. Right. To where man, it was it was like it was undeniable, man. Like yeah. everything we did, like people gon' people gonna, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna take our work, man, to come see what we had going on, man. And that was big. But like I say, we weren't serious though. We were serious back then. You know, tell me where we'd be at right now as far as I look back, man, I imagine what if what if social media was around back then? Oh man. You know what it, I'm saying? Even not being serious, we it we would have became you know what I'm saying, it would have became something. I think y'all would have got serious because you like It would have made us get serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cause we was like, man, we was on that level, man. We was on that level, man. 
All right, now Quint, Quint versus Earn, because you, you said in one of your songs how, you know, they're, they're two different people, two different personalities. Tell me, tell me the difference between Quint versus Earn. Yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. It's like it's the growth, it's okay. the growth part. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, I got noticed from the Quint. You feel me? On the music, you know, I got noticed from. That's the Rob D, the you know, the the pimp tag, the so serious, the <laughs> show off. That was that was the Quint. You know what I'm saying? Versus the Earn. It's like it's me doing solo music now, you know what I'm saying? And the growth of the music, you feel me? That's why I say it's kind of hard, so I put them both in the book, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the, the difference is the growth, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, the Quint was love, the earned love, but it's, it's, it's two different eras, so, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's hard to choose. You know what I'm saying? So just fuck it. Just put them both in the booth. You feel what I'm saying? So that's how I came about that punchline, man. That's what's up. Yes, sir. You got different layers, man. Different, man. And it, hey, man, yay. Put them both in the booth, man. It's going to work out, man. That's what's up. Yes, sir. So Quinn and Earn are both on this mixtape. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Both both, both, both sides in the both. studio. I had a dude that called me the other day and was like, man, but you remind me of the old Quinn. <laughs> such and such track. You feel me? And yeah, that's exactly what I was, that feedback I was trying to get, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, I be getting calls, man, and, you know, the compliment, the, the, the salutes, you know what I'm saying? Like, from the, from the tape, man, and I feel like that's what we do it for, you know what I'm saying? We do it for that. That kind of pushes us to keep doing it when you get the, the me, I'm the type of guy, I, I want all feedback. Right. If it's negative and positive, you know, that, that's right. going to help me grow, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel no type of way, you know what I'm saying? I don't get offended by if a dude call me and say, man, such and such, I ain't like this, I don't get offended by that, you know what I'm saying? I look into it and I try to grow from it, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I be getting, you know what I'm saying? I be getting great feedback, you know what I'm saying? I get a little criticism, but I love that, you know what I'm saying? I don't want everybody to call me and be like, hey, man. It's me, yes, people. Yeah, yeah you don't want yes, man, around you. You, know you can't grow with that, yeah. And another thing, though, that's why this circle is so powerful, man. We give each other the best advice, not what we want each other to hear and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? We actually, if I don't like it, I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Not right. saying it's not right, but I'm, I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. You feel me? Yeah. I don't want to hold nothing back here. You know what I'm saying? Versus a lot of groups, man, just because of the guy you is, everybody, yeah, man, that's right. But they don't really feel that way. That's not, you can't help me grow like that. You right. Me? So when you're here, man, we, we give each other the, the best advice. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need, man. Especially in the entertainment industry. Yes, Same with in the acting world, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, sir. I, I don't want people to tell me, hey, yeah, the performance is good and, and it really sucked. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Don't so I'm smile like, in my it. face and yeah. tell me, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was awesome, man. Yeah. But <laughs> behind, you know what I'm saying? You feel some type of way, man. Keep it a hundred, man. You know what I'm saying? That's going to help me. Yeah. Whether you know it or not. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You give me something to go home and think about. Right, you know right, saying? right. Man, I gotta do, maybe I got to change this up or maybe I got to do this differently. You know what I'm saying? We need that. We constantly evolving, man. So yes, you need sir. it. We need that. And I appreciate you, man, because I remember I had a role. I was playing, you know what I'm saying? I was playing a gangster role, yes, you sir. know? And, like, yes, you know, I don't really know much about that, like, personally. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? But I, I remember I called you a couple of times. Yes, you know, because I'm like, when you got a real person that can give you, you know what I'm saying, like, real feedback or an outlook or a vision on how certain things should look or, or how you should say it. And I'm like, that, that project never came out. You know, we were working on big things with it. Yeah. But... People seen some of my clips, and to this day, people still say that was one of my best performances. And I had just started. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I remember. I remember you called. Yeah. Times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I'm gonna give you the best feedback. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it was situations. It was like, how would you handle this? Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? A real life situation. How would you handle this? You and I get think. To you blood roll. And it was authentic you know though. People yes, were feeling sir. it, man. And, and the, so I'm like, yeah, man. I appreciate that though, man. That was love, bro. Yeah. Anytime. You know how we rocking, man. Yeah. Anytime. Anytime, you know, if if I can if I can help, I'm gonna help. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and likewise, if you I already can't, know. You know, I'm gonna let you know, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta find somebody else. Man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, if I can help, don't do You know what I'm saying? Especially coming from where we came from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That helping each other is big. Absolutely. You know, we don't get a lot. We need of more of that, you man. Don't get a lot of that. It's a whole, like I say, it's a whole group of guys, man, here in the city. You know what I'm saying? And um, for the ones who who's willing. You know what I'm saying? To reach out and help, that's big. I salute. I salute all them guys and all them females, women, whatever, that's going to actually take the time out, man. Oh, thugging, man. Um, song. Yeah, so so that was, that was probably, like, my favorite track yeah. on, on the entire mixtape. And I mean, 
not like all the other tracks were fire. You yes, know what I'm saying? Exactly. I got I got about five or six that's like I can just bump. Like I've been going to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Playing them in the headphones, yes, just yes, getting through them workouts, yes, man. Sir. Yeah, but um, yeah, man. Talk a little, cause Thuggin takes takes it takes it back to day one. You know what I'm saying? Like in in your early early like your childhood, and um, you know, gr- growing up like in the hood. Like what type of an impact that have on your childhood? Yeah, man. The song, I, of course, the song was made due to you know what I'm saying my childhood growth man it's it was rough for me coming up you know what I'm saying like for real for real it's like single parent home you know you know uh not having you know as much as all the other kids you feel what I'm saying like you know coming outside playing you know what I'm saying like Christmas time all the other kids enjoying they you know enjoying their gifts and stuff you know when I ain't ha- you know, I ain't have it, you feel me? Shots out to mom, though, she did the best she can do, you know what I'm saying? And I salute her for that. But yeah. It's Florida boy to the death of me, nigga. To the death of me, nigga. If you really love me like you say you do, then I'ma need for you to pray for me, nigga. You to pray for me, cause I'm out here thugging hard. It's Florida boy to the death of me, nigga. If you really love me like you say you do, then I'ma need for you to pray for me, nigga. You to pray for me, cause I'm out here thugging hard, nigga. Jumped off the porch when I was young. I ain't had no choice but to grab that mask and grab that gun. Bitch, I was savage at a young age on a rampage. Daddy left, so I had to hit them streets and get paid. Mama strung out on dope, granddad, granny gave me hope. I remember them days when we was down and out and broke. We was so broke, we had to bathe with them soap. Had to sleep on the floor. When we was hungry, had no food, had to go steal out the store. And I'm supposed to smile when they yell Christmas. Santa came, but when he came, he ain't had shit to give us. No puss ass nigga. And that's when I knew I was living in a struggle. Hey, God, please forgive me for my hustle. God, please forgive a nigga, cause I I feel like I'ma have to bust him. I had a funny feeling from the jump that I can trust this motherfucker. So it's all on me. He booked. I'ma have to put him under. I can't let that nigga turn my hustle into a cold summer. I was baptized in rainwater. They put look in my bottle. Didn't wonder why a nigga so retarded. Stay get suspended from school, jumping on people, kids, and telling the teachers fuck them. Skipping school to hustle. I had to get it off the muscle. Yeah, the song came about that, man. I, I growed up, you know what I'm saying? Um, kind of different from the rest of the kids in the neighborhood as far as you know, having things, you know what I'm saying? And that kind of like, that kind of like, uh, it pushed me to go hard, you know what I'm saying? Like right now today, I enjoy it though, you know what I'm saying? Because it made me the, the person I am right now, you know what I'm saying? But writing the song made me go back to all those, all of those times when, you know, I ain't have, or, you know, a lot of situations where it was tough, you know what I'm saying? It was rough for me. In moms, you feel what I'm saying? Right, like, right. so I kind of like spilled my heart out in that, you know what I'm saying? Like, writing the songs, like, just went through, started back, you know what I'm saying? Like, going down memory lane of when things wasn't so good, you feel me? And that's kind of how I, I came up with the title, too, of the mixtape, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just want a bag because, like, it was, that bag was needed back then, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And we didn't have it, you know what I'm saying? So that kind of like, you know, was easy for me to come up with the title, man, of uh, the mixtape, man, because it, it was rough coming up, man. I, I think uh, that song, and I remember that time. I mean, I was, you know what I'm saying? We were elementary school yes, together, sir. middle yes, school sir. together. You know, and um, like I said, you never know what someone's really going through. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You only, you know, when you're at school, you only see like part of, you know what I'm saying? Just a small, you know what I'm saying? Like just a small amount. The temper part and all of that stuff. You know yeah. What I'm you, you can't really see that. You don't, yeah. At you don't home know. part, you know what I'm saying? So, so just listening to that song, I'm like, it just gave me a greater understanding. Yes, sir. You know, of like, you know what I'm saying? Like why, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like just why, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm like, I'm like, I understand it, man. I'm like, listening to that song. The reason it's my favorite, man, it brings out so many emotions, yes, right? Sir. Like, yes, I'm sir. listening to it, it's like, first time I heard it, shed a tear. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it's, it, it don't just, that song don't just represent you. It represents every kid that's growing up, like, just in poverty, you know? Yes, and sir. Yes, sir. What, the one thing I've, I've noticed just growing up in life, man, is that no matter whether, you, if your parents are rich, you know, you can, we all want the same thing. Yes, sir. We all want the same thing, man. We just want to be able to provide for our families, man. That's it. That's it, man. It's just some people have more opportunities to do that. Some people don't, you know, and you have to make the best of your situation doing the best you can. So, I mean, going to your childhood, I mean, do you feel like you had to become a man a lot sooner than what you wanted to? You didn't really get to enjoy childhood just being a child. 
it's like seeing seeing a lot of stuff though that my eyes was kind of invited to it, you got i had to you feel me it was it, i felt like it was only right you feel me it was only right that you know what i'm saying I, I grow up a little faster than i wanted to you know what i'm saying like being a kid as far as the time you were supposed to be a kid was kind of out of it was out of the picture for me you feel what i'm saying like it's like you get tired of saying you know what i'm saying it's the struggle, you know? Mom not having, you know, she crying, trying to hide it. You feel what I'm saying? But you you witnessing all of this. You feel what I'm coming from? So it's 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 kinda like it kinda make you jump off the porch early, man, you know what I'm saying? And that what happened with me, you know what I'm saying? I had to find a way, you know what I'm saying, to, to stop the tears. You feel me? The 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 to put the smile on the faces, you know what I'm saying, that I never see. You feel what I'm saying? So it it kind of, you know what I'm saying, pushed me to to make make the make stuff happen the way I can possibly make it happen. You know what I'm saying? So it was rough. It was rough, man. But like you said, I wouldn't I wouldn't change it for the world, man. Look at me now. You know what I'm saying? So I just thank God for you know what I'm saying them lessons, man. You know what I'm saying? Because lessons can turn into blessings. You feel me? I like that. And that's the way you know. And and they doing is it doing just that for me? You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Now, what's crazy, man, is, uh, you know, just thinking back during that time, man, like, I just remember you were good at everything, man. Yes, sir. Nobody couldn't touch you with the speed, the track. Nobody couldn't touch you in basketball. You were doing the N1 stuff before N1 even yeah, came out. you rivals, man. I got a lot of those, man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I got second place. I got second place a lot. Yeah, you were know? rivals, I'm man. We used to meet up. Hey, if it wasn't for you, yes, man, sir. I would have a lot more blue ribbons. That's all I'm saying. Yes, sir. Yes, that sir. That pushed me to be better. You know yes, what I'm sir. saying? Yes, sir. I always knew. I'm like, here you come, man. Football, basketball, just just everything, yes, man. Sir. Like, yes, sir. you know, and and, and I, I, I often look back, like, if you, I guess if, if circumstances were a little different, do you think like when you got to high school and stuff like that, you would focus more on sports? Yeah, well, that's what I wanted to do. You feel me? Right. Like, like, like we both. I was so good at everything, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, and when you when you good at everything like that, man, the hate become real. <laughs> I'm talking about the hate become real, though. And I kind of feel like, you know, I was I was most hated on those levels. You know what I'm saying? But like you say. I can I don't waste stuff on my sleeve a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like right. I can I can I can move without, you know what I'm saying, a person really knowing what's what's going on. And that's what it was for me. Like when I got in high school, you know, I, I tried it, you know what I'm saying? But the struggle was kinda like still there. You feel what I'm saying? It right. Even you know what I'm saying, like after high school stuff really start changing for me, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? But doing high school man the, the talent man i wanted to do it all because i felt like i was that guy you feel me i was you that guy definitely went d1 man, man I was you that. went d1 to some college man, man sure. and i know that you know what i'm saying and it's a lot of, i ain't gonna lie it's a lot of um it's a lot of coaches you know what i'm saying that that seen that in me though he was was trying you know what i'm saying to get me to you know what i'm saying do right you know what i'm saying and it's just that they like you said they ain't know what was going on mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying I had to attend to what was at hand, you feel me? Knowing that I, I wanted to do this because I love this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, But, yeah, man, it's, I just had to tackle what was in front of me, man. And a lot of them guys didn't see that, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. But the help, they was trying, though. I got to get, I gotta keep it 100. It was a lot of coaches, even from other schools, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I used to go to Manatee, but I had other coaches from other, onto my life. Other schools used to pull up on me. I don't know how they know where I stay. <laughs> Pull up on me, you know what I'm saying? My mama telling me, hey, somebody out here want you. It's coaches from other trying to get me to come, you know what I'm saying? Like promising stuff and, you know. But like I say, man, God don't make no mistakes, man. Right. He don't make no mistakes. So, hey, man, maybe that stuff wasn't meant and this is. You feel me? Right. So that's how I look at it. Came back full circle. Same came right back, man. You can't. When you're so talented in so many different things, it can't stop you, man. Yeah. It can't stop you. Yeah. You have some people who have, like, you know, who have a lot of skills, you know what I'm saying, who was born with stuff, but then you have a very small, select group of people that have what I call God-given yes, talent. Sir. Yes, sir. You know, I think I think you were given God-given talent. You know, we, and anybody can see that even from a young age, you know. Yes, sir. And uh, I think I've told you this before, man. No matter what it is you decided to focus on, put your heart into 
I feel like you would be successful at it. Yes, sir. And I you feel told, like that's you been told the me case. That plenty of times. Yeah, I feel like that's been the case so far in your life, man. Anything you choose to focus on, not only can you can you be great at it, but you can dominate it. Yes, sir. And I think that's what's about to happen with this music thing, man. That's why I'm at with it too. You know what I'm saying? Like, people used to always tell me, man, like, when you so humble, like, the, the, the position you in, you don't even talk like, you know what I'm saying? You don't even present it like you you that guy, but you is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I be humble. You feel me? Right. Because that's that's I just how I always move. You feel me? I never let a situation get too big to where it changes me. You mm-hmm. feel me? And I think that's big. You know what I'm saying? Because... Around here, I'm just gonna speak from around here because this is where I'm from. Situations change people around here, you know what I'm saying? Like, I done seen it too much, too often, you know what I'm saying? Get a little, get a little head, you know what I'm saying? And then they're a whole different person. Mm-hmm. With me, I'm the same, I've been the same guy, I'm gonna remain the same guy through it all, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But I also feel like that though, like, I can dominate anything and I will, you know what I'm saying? This. They finna get it. I'm, I'm going. I'm finna do that. Just that. You know what I'm saying. But the way I carry it, though, you never. You know what I'm saying. People don't expect the way I carry it because I'm just that humble. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. A lot of people in my shoes, they'll they'll be more outspoken and arrogant about mm-hmm. a situation. Start feeling themselves. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying. And I do, but it just I don't. You know what I'm saying. I don't. I don't. I don't put it out there like. As far as you can't talk to me when you see me, or, you know what I'm saying? That's I think that's weird. I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like it don't matter. I can be with family, friends. You know when I get pulled to the side, or how, I just it don't matter. Random. You know what I'm saying? Because I be having random people, man. Like this crazy. I have random. Like, well, they ain't random people. I know them, but I just don't remember the things that I have done for them. Mm-hmm. Man, I had, I'm talking about since I've been home, I don't have people pull up on me, man, and be like, bro, you don't remember when you did such and such for me, man? Tears in their eyes, man. I don't remember because I done done it for so many people. You feel what I'm saying? And you don't expect anything in return. And I don't it's expect genuine, that, and so dog is genuine. Keep it moving. And then, like, I can have somebody with me, and they'll be like, what the? You know what I'm saying? They looking like, we. <laughs> Who are you like? You feel me? But these dudes, they remember that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And know what I'm saying? They appreciate it. And, and, and man, they appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? And someone I don't remember, dog, and it kind of hurt them for me not to remember. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't been through a lot of them episodes or I can be in the mall with some legit and be like, man, that's him. <laughs> you feel me? It's like on celebrity type yeah, status. Stories. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's big. That help, but that help, way. That's a big push right there for me. You know what I'm saying? That, that kind of pushed me to keep doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? And let me know that I'm heading the right direction. That's what's yeah. up, man. Yeah, yeah, let's switch gears a little bit because I know you touched on it a little bit. So, um, you know, when 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 you got in trouble with the law and everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, you had to do a bit. Um, like, what, what was your mindset, man, just going in? When- See, me, like I say, like, I'm, I'm always the type of guy that, I rely on uh, just the way of living, man. You feel me? So my mindset from 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 the streets to going, it was the same. I had the same mentality. It's survival, man. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It's survival. You know what I'm saying? And the type of guy I was on the streets. Always, I'm always in the lane of my own. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm never in another lane. You feel me? I always been the leader type guy that world. I don't I don't care what nobody else doing. You feel me? It's all about what I'm doing. And so I took that same mentality to prison, man. It was easier for me to, to do a bid like that. You know what I'm saying? Not saying prison is easy, because it's most definitely not. You know what I'm saying? Oh, of course not. Yeah. But it's kind of it's it's kind of easier for me to the the accept. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this is where I'm at. This is where I'm gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, man, I don't I don't I don't witness well. Dudes have a year and they flipping out, they can't take it. You feel what I'm saying? They doing all, oh man, they, it, it, you gotta have a strong mind, man. I always been that type of guy, man. I don't been through so much, man, to where uh, the little smallest stuff can't, it can't trigger me. You feel me? I don't mm-hmm. been through too much big stuff to let the small stuff, you know what I'm saying? You know, we call it spilled milk. You mm-hmm. can't do one, you can't do nothing about that. So I took that same street mentality, man. 
And I took it to prison, you know what I'm saying? And that's how I rock. Now, when you were in there, like, did you write any songs? Like, oh, cause I, I hear different, I hear different, like, um, experiences from like rappers you know like like some of them say prison just killed their spirit yeah they didn't have the motivation to write like did you were you able to write it, it, songs it, done that for me. it killed it killed my spirit you feel me i ain't gonna lie but when d passed mm -hmm. that was my outscape man the, the, the stay away from everybody you know it's like when d when d left dog when i was locked up it kind of like i didn't want no like activities or nothing to do with anybody else. So I I changed I took that in and I, I changed that to music. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I jumped into the music, man. I, I wrote like three hundred songs in prison. Three hundred. And and this the crazy thing about it. This the crazy thing about it. All the music you hear now is no it's no prison music. It's like I haven't even started dropping that stuff yet. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? Like. I went crazy then when it come to music, man. Like I can be writing music, music helped them days go by. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like once I crank up, it's all day. You know what I'm saying? I get a nap way back up, it's music. Yeah. So it, it kinda helped me, you know what I'm saying, get through the time. That's what's up. Now when you when you were uh when you were locked up, like I guess what was what, what did you miss the most? Oh man. You know, me, I'm gonna say me. I miss I ain't miss nothing but family, man, and love. Mm -hmm. All that other stuff, man, it was like, you know, it didn't bother me to miss that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I missed the, the, the family time, the smiles on the faces, you know what I'm saying? Because I brought a lot of that to the family. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm like a, a, a one of the guys, like, when it was a, a, a situation, though, you know what I'm saying? My family relied on me a lot. You feel mm -hmm. me? So I miss being there to be there for them. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And... That hurt, man, you know what I'm saying? That that let me know that when you out there doing what you're doing, you're not just hurting yourself, man. Right. You hurt your loved ones as well, you know what I'm saying? Cause when we can we can be selfish, man. You feel me? We can be out there doing what we doing, be selfish, you know what I'm saying? Thinking it's just all about us. Not knowing the moves you buzz, dog, they're gonna affect your family too, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I miss family, man, the most, man. Family and loved ones like when you in that place and you and you uh you go through a death situation, mm -hmm. man, bro, that's that's a, that's a, especially if it's close. All deaths are bad, but when somebody like you rubbing shoulders with somebody and you lose them, while you're in a situation like that where you can't can't go to the funeral man, or anything, you, that that's that's that hurt. Man. I don't know how everybody else deal with it, but that was kind of like the worst times for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause like you said, I, when I was home, I brought a lot of smiles and stuff, man, to the faces of my family members and friends and loved ones, man. And I miss that, you know. I love to do stuff like that, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I think that's why one of the reasons God put me here, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And for me not to do that, dog, during the time I was gone, that was kind of like one of the worst feelings, man. I can only imagine, yeah, man. One of the worst, you know what I'm saying? Probably is the worst, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what I miss the most, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Now, what's the first thing you did when you got out, man? As far as man, the first person you went to see? Oh, my grandma. Grandma, okay. Oh yeah, my grandma. That's my heart, man. You know what I'm saying? Gotta pull up on her. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's the first person I went to see, man. Hugged her, kissed her like a million times. You <laughs> feel me? Try to catch up with all the kisses I missed. <laughs> and um, yeah, man, but. Like you said, when I came home, though, it was like a lot of people met at my grandma's house, man. That thing was like the Martin Luther King Parade down the yeah, street. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The love, real, though, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, I had to pull up, man, on, on Granny, man. You know what I'm saying? Just fit, embrace her, you know what I'm saying? That was a... Because, you know, my grandma's old, man, and I could have easily lost her. Yeah. During the, you know what I'm saying, the time I was gone, so me to come home and she's still living man you know i thank god for that i had to go out there and kiss that lady man a hundred times man yeah yes sir she's still living right now the grace of god you know what i'm saying that's good man that's i'm happy heart. to hear that yes sir that's my heart there, boy. that's what's you know, up man. what i would have if i have <laughs> lost all that you know what i'm saying it's, you know it's different when you can lose somebody on the street it's different you know what i'm saying you can get the closure and all that you know what i'm saying when you loud up man it's like 
It weighs on you different. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I think people kind of going through it right now with this COVID thing because if somebody's in a different state or a different country, like the islands, they they having to stream it, man. Yeah. Like, look at it online. That's not the same. I can imagine, man. I you can know, ima- I can imagine. You feel me? Like this COVID thing has done some damage. Yeah. Damage, dog. Onto my life, out the blue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you know that's the worst damage when you're not expecting it. You feel me? Well, we never expect death, but right. This thing just creeped up and just started doing all type of numbers, Taking people man. out like crazy, man. Yeah, that's, yeah. And we still don't even know, like, all the details about it. That's what makes it so dangerous. Like, and how, it, and how it's does it still spread? Keep, and it's still doing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When they think everything, they don't open everything back up. It's this, That stuff's still working out there, man. Hard. It's mm-hmm. working hard still. So, yeah. People got to still be mindful of that, man. It's still there. Yep. Still there. Yeah, man, well, I was, I was happy when you came home, man. I was like... Because I, I, one of the things, I don't know if you've seen it, because some things are intangible, right? Yes. Sir. Some things happen internally with people. I think when you came home, I think I had just started acting. You yes. know, and, and I'm just speaking for myself, but I think the whole city, man, once they once everybody got where you were coming home, I think everybody realized, hey, he about to bring that energy. It's time for everybody to step the game up. Yeah, I, hey, I kind of agree with that. <laughs> I really do, though, you know what I'm saying? I kind of agree with that, because, look, like, now that this out, like, every time I pull up on somebody, you know what I'm saying, and they grab a CD, man, they be like, man, I've been waiting on this every since. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it, for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people tell me, like, man, like, man, God, thank you for saving us. Like, we've been listening to trash ever since you've been gone. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And that's big, man. That's big to me. Like, that type of stuff right there. It kind of motivates me to, you know what I'm saying, to keep doing what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Man, we need you here, man. Oh, You're yes, here for sir. a reason, man. Like, there's only certain people that can elevate, you know what I'm saying, a whole city like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I think sir. it's more about the story, you know what I'm saying, that that person have Their life is a story in itself. Mm-hmm. So people respect that. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? They, they look at your approach and how you attack everything. And that gives them inspiration. It's like, all right, hey, we want to be successful. He's giving us the blueprint right yes, here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You I know what hey, I'm saying? Hey, I wouldn't want it no other way, like. I feel like that's what I'm here for. Like when 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 dudes got a question, or either females got a, you know, I give them the 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 the, the most accurate answer that I can give them. You mm-hmm. feel me? It don't matter who it is. That's what type of guy I am. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I think for real, for real, like the city, like they they really they really mess with me, man. Hard like you can tell when somebody's showing you some dreams, man. We old enough to know that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. so. I think that's the that's one of the reasons. I'm gonna say that's one of the reasons, man, that I get the love that I get from the city because they know, you know what I'm saying. When, whenever I give them something, man, it's real. You know what I'm saying? Like it's no, you know what I'm saying. I'm just gonna tell you something you wanna hear. Right. Get it to your blood, raw, whether you like it or not. You right. Feel me? And that's what you know what I'm saying. People need that. If you, know you ask, a lot of people don't get that, but they need that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you ask, you ready and for the people who know me that <laughs> actually hit my line or when they see me, they know, you know what I'm saying, he gonna get it to me, you know what I'm saying, they probably had this question on their mind for months and yeah. ran into me, you know what I'm saying, didn't tell nobody but on the guy they did, you know what I'm saying, like, I get that a lot, like, you know what I'm saying, a lot, you know that's what's what up, saying? man, I get it a lot, but I step to the plate, you know what I'm saying, because I feel like that's what I'm here for, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, so just going through like all the experiences, all the adversity that you've had to go through and endure, um, I mean, what what advice would you give to some of these young cats out there that's, that's in the game who, who getting? Because you you say you say it on one of your songs about that fast cash won't get you nowhere. Yeah, yeah. What what, what would you tell them, man? Yeah. Like, like you said, we we in a we in a rough little environment around here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's hard right now. It's hard to tell the young cats that's out there. That's that's actually out there in traffic, you know what I'm saying, who actually busting some moves. It's hard to tell them, hey, bro, that ain't what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you do that type of stuff to the ones that's really out there, they gonna swear it's hating. You hating, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing gonna come to their mind. You hating, bro. You ain't say when you was doing it. You feel what I'm saying? But for the ones who actually, that that wanna hear the advice and take the advice, man, it don't add up. You know what I'm saying? The time don't add up. A possibility to death, you know what I'm saying? For the moves you're making, it don't add up. You feel me? So I tell a man the, the approach, man, approach it differently. You know what I'm saying? 
a seat, you know what I'm saying? Do your homework. See what comes behind, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? The activities or the moves that you're making, you know what I'm saying? Like, look it over. Do a camera check, you feel me? Mm -hmm. It's not. It, it don't. It don't add up. And if it don't, if it don't make sense, man, it ain't worth doing. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So that's like the best advice I give the ones who want to listen. You feel me? Mm -hmm. For the ones that's at, cause I know. You know what I'm saying? That's just from experience. You know what I'm saying? For the ones who act, actually out there in traffic, that's actually doing something. It's gonna be hard to get through to them. <laughs> See, then the type they're gonna have to learn. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna have to go, go through, through it. it. You know what I'm saying? In order for them to understand where you was trying to get to, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. boy, when you at that, hey man, it's a whole different ball game. But just being in the way, you right. know what I'm saying? So for the ones who actually want to take the advice, dog, that's what I give them, man. If it don't, if it don't make sense, man, why do it? Right. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of shine. And, it's not worth, you know what I'm saying? What's going to, you know, attack you in the, in the, on the back end. You mm -hmm. So most definitely, man, for the ones who want to hear, that's the type of advice I give. That's what's up, man. I yes, think, man. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the things my mom always told me is, like, experience is the best teacher. You know, it's, yes, as long sir. as it, sometimes as long as it's not your own. You know, you can learn it from the OGs, you know, that they go into, they can tell you, hey, this, this is where it's going to lead you to. Yeah. But see, around here, though, it's hard to, it's hard. The OGs, like, they didn't give us the game. Mm. You feel me? You got a few select, dog. You know what I'm saying? Around here, you know, it, it's like, it's rare that somebody can tell you, man, the OG gave me, you know what I'm saying? He gave mm -hmm. me the game. It is. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, it's like the OG is the one pushing the jits out. Mm. Like you feel me? It's, it's backwards now. Like, if we would have had... The, t the type of dudes like what I'm willing to do. Right, right. I ain't gonna turn nobody down if they, you know what I'm saying? If they looking for a, um, a answer to something or I'm gonna get to you the best. It's free game, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't had that. Well, I'm gonna say, me I ain't had that coming up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't had nobody to step to me because they seen this potential in me. Mm -hmm. and, you know what I'm saying? Give me some positive advice, you know what I'm saying? Everything I learned, basically, I learned on my own by observing and, you know what I'm saying, and going through it, you feel me? That's why, you know, so I can get to you so pure, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, Because I don't been through it, you know what I'm saying? I, I done seen it, you know what I'm saying, firsthand, you feel me? So, you know, but what I'm willing to do, we ain't had that coming up. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. my little area, we ain't had that. And if they did, it was certain select of people, you know what I'm saying, like, it's rare. It's rare around here, though. For real, for real. It's rare. So if you, if I'm telling you, so if you do got it, yeah. you, know, you got to cherish it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't let it go on one way or the other. Cause a lot of people don't take the time out they, out they day dog. You know what I'm saying? To feed the little young cats that positive energy and that advice that they need. You feel me? Right. For real. That's what's up, man. Well, I think I think uh, overall, man, I think you showing them a different way through the rap. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's my message. That's yeah. the message. You know what I'm saying? That's the message. Cause like when you got when you, when 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 the city when the city when the city fuck with you like they fuck with me, it's the perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's the perfect opportunity to do do that. You feel me? Like right. okay, yeah, I probably can't reach everybody on a personal level, but I can do it through the music. You Absolutely. Know what I'm Absolutely. So that's most definitely my approach. You feel me? And it's gonna it's gonna get greater. That's what's up, man. The more great I get as far as levels, it's gonna get greater. You know what I'm saying? Cause we are we got a vision. Especially here, we we talk about these visions that we know gonna happen in a second. We have these visions, man, that the brain back, man. Cause it's I feel like it's it's not it's not hard. It's just people don't apply. Mm -hmm. It's not hard, man. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta have that. You gotta want to put in effort to do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it takes a level. It takes certain levels to get on, you know what I'm saying? You only can do so much on the level that's not, you know what I'm saying, ready, you know what I'm saying, to where everybody tuned in. You I got me? you. So, yeah. Man, so what, what's next for Florida Boy Earn, man? I know man. you said you're working on the album. Yeah, it's Maybe work, it's man. It's work, <laughs> right? A lot, a lot of people get to where they, once they done completed something, like a mixtape or an album, they be content with that, you feel me? Mm -hmm. They grind, stop. The hustle stop. With me, man, it's work, work, work. You know what I'm saying? More consistency. I feel like the being consistent is the key. You know what I'm saying? That's in everything you do. 
right. know what I'm saying? No right. matter what perfection you in, what work at the consistent part is, is major, man. You know what I'm saying? So the next for me is just work, man. The more you work, the more you eat. I believe that. You feel me? So just work, man, until you know I can't work no more. That's what's up, man. So 2021 about to be a big year. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I'm claiming it. I'm claiming it. <laughs> I'm claiming it right now, right here. I you see it, I'm man. Saying? I'm claiming it. Man. I see it. I think uh, I just want to beg is open up the door, man. And then I think even for the cats that's like around you, you know what I'm saying, who rap in the group. Yes, and sir. if they follow your lead, man, I'm like, dude, they, they stuff will get yeah. a and lot. They, <clears throat> and they is, man. They, they Man, listen, these dudes, like, I... Never been around a group of dudes that's more excited about this project than me. <laughs> you understand me? Like for that's real, love. for real. That's love and right I, there, man. And I witnessed it. I see it. You know what I'm saying? Though I tell you, the energy is different. You know what I'm saying? From any other, you know what I'm saying? Like positions I don't been in with the music, the energy different. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like everybody's so passionate about the music and they brother getting out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Then, like it's. It's real, man. Like, we can be in here, man. I just look up, dog. I just go to smiling like these dudes way more active and crunk and excited than me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm excited. You feel me? So, that's big, man, to be uh, up under a group of guys, man. That's, you know what I'm saying? Ready. That's what's up, man. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what the future holds, man. Like, I expect nothing less than, I don't know, a record deal. I, I know you even said it on your song, man, yeah, even without a deal. Oh, yeah. You said it can't stop it. But see, it's the new era now, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I know one of the questions was, you know what I'm saying, like how the game done changed. Yeah. Man, it's a new era. Like back then, you had to be versatile. You had to be, you know what I'm saying? You had to come with it. Now it's like more of a swag era. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, if you got a little swag or a little bounce music, you in the dough now, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's different, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like what what I'm bringing to the table is both, you know what I'm saying? I can change with the with the times, you know what I'm saying? But still be lyrical at the, lyrically at the same time. A lot of people ain't, you might hear a hook and a dude versus like totally different from the hook. You understand know me? And they don't care anymore as long right. as they can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot of these rappers don't be saying much now, man. Yeah. You just got a nice hook and then and, that's the song. And it's, it's over with, it's you know hit. what I'm saying? Yeah. But they feeding their family, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's no hate. It's just right. that this is what it's become, you know what I'm saying? That's what people buying. That's what people buying. That's what people you know want. What I'm saying? No, I'm trying to bring that, okay, this, I'm going to give you something to listen to back. You feel me? Yeah. And that's where I'm at, like, Man, oh, we got some pressure coming, man. Like I say, T Red, man, little bro, he's um, on the twelfth of next month, and then right after that, we're gonna do the full quarter of greatness. That's what's up. And man, all this stuff done though already. It's already done. It's already done. You know what I'm saying? It's just the timing right now. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna stop from him. I'm telling you, boy, it's working, man. We always rely on um, if you ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Sure. That's why we got so much stuff already just lined up that's done. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. And another thing I know you were saying with the game changing, like you you were telling me like just the other day that uh, people don't really, you don't, a, a mixtape is almost giving them too much now. You were talking about the singles. Yes, sir. Yes, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, like the next approach, how I'm approaching with the with releasing the album, it's going to be like single by single. Because you know that's what they're doing now. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're giving people albums now and stuff like that, it's like you're cheating yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you might have nine singles on this album that you could have put them, each one of those singles out, you know what I'm saying, by itself and did numbers. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like giving them all at once right now is kind of like doing too much now right. in this area. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like you single them by single by single. You do videos and for them. Exactly. Like videos, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Then you just, after you've been ran through the... You know what I'm saying? Then you give them the, you know what I'm saying? That's how it's basically running right now. You know what I'm saying? Which sense. is smart. Yeah, which is smart. Because, like, for real, for real, though, the record label's like, that's why people not really signing no more. Yeah. It's, it's rare, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people going independent now because that's the way to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got to sign a deal no more, you know what I'm saying? Because the record, what the record label's doing, I'm doing, I'm doing on my own now. You yep. know what I'm saying? I'm creating my fan base. Yep. You know, I'm doing all this stuff on my own now just by, you know, 
working my stuff, you know what I'm saying, through the internet and doing all the other little footwork that I got to do. And that's so. more money that you get to keep in your pocket. Yes, sir. You know what record, I'm saying? Record companies, boy, they be slapping their heads sometimes. Yeah, they be doing it, man. But, you know, always, some always come to the end. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to recognize what's going on. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If you don't recognize any, yeah, you can't, you know, right. you just got to have your stuff together. Man, so, Quint, I mean, you know, uh, I, I see you having longevity, you know what I'm saying, in this rap game. You know, uh, you know, I hear the hunger, you know what I'm saying, I see the passion, I see the growth, you know, the elevation. Yes, sir. You know, and, and I, I see God working in there as well, man. So, I mean, when it's all said and done, I mean, what, what type of impact are you looking to have on, on, the, on the music game and, and what type of love you want to receive from that? Be honest, man, just just to bust through, man, you know what I'm saying, to open up some doors, man, so I can shed light on the city, man, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 to be able to give back, man, to a group of guys, man, that I know talented that just need that chance, you feel me? So I just want to be able to, you know what I'm saying, to, to be in a position to, to come show some love to where I can give these dudes you know what I'm saying? A chance, you know what I'm saying? To feed their families, man. So that's 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 the most important impact that I'm trying to receive from the game. As as far as just loving it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I wanna give back, man. Shed some light on the city, man. We need it, man. It's you creating know? a whole nother outlet. We need it. We can be the next Atlanta, Atlanta easy here. The yep. talent is the talent here, man. Right. I'm to my even just a lot of people know about it, but it's a lot of hidden talent, though, that I want to discover. And it's here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, privately, I have people calling me, like, I'm telling you, like, I'm a big inspiration to a lot of people. I have people calling me that that haven't even, you know, attempted to put their music out there. You know what I'm saying? But just want me to see. You know what I'm saying? Just get, they want that positive impact impact uh, what I think of their music. No one ever heard. I get it a lot. I share it with P2. When I get them, I share them with them. You know what I'm saying? And and I know it's a lot of undercover talent, man. I just want to be able to shine light, man. You feel me? That's what's up. It, it's here, man. I be like, what? Like, you 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 telling me you scared to put this out there? Like, and it was like, you know, and some people will go as far as giving me their life story, you know. And, you know, some people have been through a lot to where they so shame, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because they put a lot of they, they life into the music, and they ashamed to put it out there. But I tell them that's what's gonna, you know, have you to grow. That's what's going. That's your healing right there. You know what I'm saying? When mm -hmm. you can get past that stage, you feel me? And you know, until you do that, you just gonna be like holding in a lot of stuff that gonna keep fucking with you and bothering with you. Mm -hmm. and once you can release it. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so many other people that's going through the same thing you're going through, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You can help them as far as helping yourself, as well as helping yourself. You know right. what I'm saying? But I just want to be able to shine that light, man, to give other people the opportunity, man. You know? That's what's up. And I mean, I think it's, it's it's not easy, man, to, like, make yourself vulnerable. Yeah, it's you not. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I, I was one of those guys. I used to hold a lot of stuff in. You feel me? Yeah. That's yeah. why I know it's not. It's not easy at all. You know what I'm saying? I said thugging, man. It's like you told me, like, that's a lot of people say that's their favorite song. Off the, a lot. That's a lot the most vulnerability that I've ever heard from you, man. I was like, wow, boy, I'll that's a story. I had a couple itself. people call me and be like, man, no disrespect to the whole project, the whole five, but man, that energy on that number 17 is like, man, dog. You know, so for real, for real, I get a lot of, a lot of, a lot of feedback on that. That's what's up, man. Well, it's been a great interview, man. So uh, tell the people, man, where they can follow you at on social media, man. Oh, yeah, man. I'm on all platforms, man. It's Florida Boy Earn, man. Um, F-L-B-O-Y-E-A-R-N, man. Every platform, man. I mean, go follow the boy, man. I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it, man, once you click one of those links, man. And I'm positive. I'm confident about that. So, um, yeah, man, just go, you know. Let me know, you know, I, I, I need your uh, support, I need your, um, your your advice, I need all that, man, and um, yeah, continue to follow me, because I'm continue to um, bring more music and more music after that, and more music after that, man, you know, <laughs> it don't stop, man. Well, man, and, and uh, if you're in the city, uh, you can get it, he got CDs on hand, so make sure y'all get up with him, I just want to bag, support local talent, man, listen, we need that support.
But hey, thank you guys for tuning in to Limelight Conversations. And remember, it goes down in the limelight. I just want a bag, 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 bag. Mama doing all that she can. When the streets caught, I ran to one fast. The music was just a dream I had. I'm just tired of doing bad. I just want a bag, 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 bag. I just want a bag, 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 bag. Mama doing all that she can. When the streets caught, I ran to one fast. The music was just a dream I had. I'm just tired of doing bad. I just wanna bag, 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 bag. I just wanna bag, 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 bag. Jackson, Grant, Benjamin Franklin. I just wanna bag. What the fuck is you thinking? Jackson, Grant, Benjamin Franklin.